praise the Lord, my Lord, the mightiest, mightiest of prophets, the Lord. And I can perfectly understand, I can perfectly understand why the Lord has chosen to judge Kenya. I can perfectly understand. Because how do you touch someone who has simply come to raise your cripples from the ground, and these are cripples you were stranded with forever? These are cripples that you were stranded with and nobody could help you. And then the Lord sends somebody who steps into the sin and begins to raise them from the soil in large numbers, free of charge. How do you touch such a person and get away with it? I can perfectly understand why the Lord has really determined to finally judge Kenya. How do you touch somebody who's so glorious, who has simply come to open the eyes of your total blind, people that are totally blind, cannot even move, total darkness, and then at one decree, without a penny, from Nairobi, they are not even there in your villages to take an offering from you, simply decreeing from Nairobi. They are far from you, you can't even run, let me give him a cup of maize far from you and raise your cripples, open the eyes of your blind, open the deaf ears, do big meetings at Jamhuri grounds, open the ears, first of all, raise your cripples, open the eyes of your blind, open the deaf ears of your deaf. How, how do you touch such a person with malice and get away with it and expect the Lord to just cover it under the carpet? I perfectly understand why the Lord has now finally determined and decided that he must judge Kenya. That means the Lord never forgave. The pain was too much for him. When he saw how much his servants prevailed for you, they labored for you, and yet all you ever gave back is blackmail, malice, slander, ridicule, mockery. How do you touch such glorious prophets and get away with it? Even a child can tell, no, 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 where's the good hour? You cannot touch those ones. When you and move, just the way they are walking with the Lord, you cannot try, even for your eternity. And so the Lord, it seems, has finally decided to catch Kenya, to, to judge Kenya. Because I've tried to pray for you, and tried to pray for you, but he's still insisting that he will judge you. And it looks like my prophecy that I gave a few months ago, so two, three years ago, beginning from 2019 until now, that prophecy seems is being fulfilled now, step by step. How do you touch the glorious prophets of Yahweh and get away with it?